Hey everybody, happy Friday evening. I sure hope you made it to this point from Monday through Friday without any major issues. I know that we all got a little waterlogged this week, so I'm going to start the video off with um, recapping that I have a couple things going, trying to um, get more money together to donate for Ollie Strong, Mr. Little Oliver, who is just fighting his little heart out against this cancer that is trying to um, keep him down. And for his strong mama, Angie, and family, I just, I'm really hoping to buffer some of their expenses that come from um, traveling back and forth for treatments and so forth. So um, I'll recap. I was going to do a yard sale this weekend, but you know, there's been so much rain, including this evening. I haven't even had a chance to put out um, signs around the neighborhood and I haven't really posted too much on Facebook to get you guys to share my posts to advertise and I really want a chance to build up clientele for this particular yard sale. I have a lot of donations you know there have been some really kind people that had things that they didn't want to just give to Goodwill they thought this would be a good cause and it certainly is but I have a lot left from the, la the last yard sale. So, um, I want to, I want to go out with a bang on this one. You know, I want to get rid of all this stuff and I want to put all that money into Angie's hands to help out in any way that we can. So I am going to spend this next week canvassing the area, um, dropping flyers here and there. Um, it looks like it's going to be fairly good so far, but this is Ohio. So, you know, but I want to put signs up when they're not going to be destroyed by the weather. So. Um, I'm going to also post, ideally, I'm going to try to post every day so you guys can share, um, my, my yard sale for next weekend. So we're looking at the 20th is next Friday. So the 21st and the 22nd is when I'm going to do this next yard sale. In the meantime, I would love to remind you that I have provided my cash app and I will do so on this, um, post as well. One dollar. I'm keeping it reasonable. You can all afford one dollar. Fifty cents. Shoot, if you need to give me fifty cents, give me fifty cents. I want to get money up in any way possible. So if you could please cash app. If you know anything about me, you know that I am as honest as they come. And um, I will make a video and everything to show the cash app donation. So I don't want any of you to worry. Um, one dollar is all I'm asking, really. If every one of my friends could donate one dollar, we would already surpass what the last donation was. So I am looking forward to it. If you consider it a birthday gift to me, my birthday's on Monday, shoot me a dollar on the Cash App and I'm going to send it right over to Angie. When I get everything together, um, Tuesday evening, I'm going to send it to her. So I challenge you, get on that Cash App and send me a dollar. You can do it. I'm sure. Um, another thing too, and I'm sorry because this is going to be a little bit of a long video, but it's worth it. So I was working from home for almost a year and a half and much to my dismay, my boss called and said I had to come back, come back into the office. Now, I was really upset. I'm not going to lie. And I have some work people on my Facebook. So I mean, I guess I'm allowed to say I was upset, right? It wasn't because of any of my coworkers because we're all like family. I've been there long enough that I love everybody that I work with. But my life, everybody's life was changed when COVID hit, right? And I had to rearrange a lot of stuff. Things just became very different when I started working from home. And then here I am having to change everything again to accommodate being back in the office. So I've been a little disgruntled and um, it's it's been a process for me. But God makes no mistakes. And um, <laughs> I went to work this morning and a gentleman who I will not name because I don't know if he would like for me to name him here. Um, I've been at this company over four years. I worked from home for a year and four months before I worked from home and now again 
Every morning when he greets me, he calls me Gertrude. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's cute and I'll take it because he's a sweet guy. And um, usually he'll just say, you know, what's good or what's happening or whatever. And he'll call me Gertrude. So this morning, I really can't remember exactly what he asked me. Like basically what's new Gertrude or something. And I said, oh, just another day. And he stopped and he looked at me so sweet and seriously. And he said, is it really? How do you know that? Might not be just any other day. And it stopped me. And I thanked him for that. Because I wouldn't have gotten that if I weren't working in the office. Right? And he is absolutely correct. This could have been the best day of my life. It could have been not just another day. And it wasn't. There were some positive things that happened today that were not like yesterday or the day before. So, you know, I always try to remain positive, but sometimes life will beat you down and you forget just how many um, obstacles you've overcome to get where you are. And you just let life overtake you a little bit. So today was a perfect reminder not to ever discount yourself or your life or what you're going through. It's not always just another day. It could be one of the most profound days that you encounter. So keep your head to the sky and know that God has a plan for you. It will be okay. I love you guys. I will follow up really soon with more stuff for Ollie. And please, please, please consider sending a dollar to my cash app. It's all going to go to Angie to um, cover expenses. Okay? I love you. Keep it pushing.